we all want different things. We're all different size, a different shape. We all have different cultures. You know, 3D printing is about making individual products that respond to the needs of these different people. In the future, we can imagine a whole range of different, what we term multi-materials. So 3D printing machines that print different materials at the same time, metals, ceramics, polymers, composite materials together. So we have functional systems. So imagine printing electronics into a product as we make it. If you go back 300 years, 400 years, furniture was made for, you know, artisans made furniture for customers. And we're moving back to that now. The artisan is digital and the, the, the furniture is made for the individual. You know, that's, that's beautiful. design for instance these rails you can change uh, how many facets you have uh, you can afterwards you will be able to change the width of the chair or whatever uh, on a website we created some uh, some thick filament to make it uh, faster this chair I'm sitting on is two hours process All our material can be recycled. Uh, then if you don't like this chair anymore, you can take it, you can shred it again, and you can put it again in the process. продает это вот эта компания so we print with a, a goat cheese today we print a head of a goat on a plate and we uh, dress it with uh, with flowers and uh, with beetroot We use uh, 3D printing as a, a tool for storytelling. It's important to, uh, to tell a story with a dish. You can uh, tell a story from your childhood or make a joke. And sometimes you need a visual uh, aspect. L'avenir, c'est d'avoir plusieurs serins pour mélanger, oui. par exemple. L'avenir, ça peut être effectivement, c'est une des, une des pistes qu'on va explorer, effectivement, c'est d'avoir some of our customers they work in bakeries they're chocolatiers and they can come to us with specific designs they want created so that they can load an STL a standard 3d printing file into their computer and then they can print the image in chocolate onto onto bread onto biscuits If you imagine trying to print a 10 by 10 centimeter image in chocolate using a syringe or a regular piping bag, it's almost impossible.